Well, in the first place, uh, this protest remind me of uh, the Ali Must Go protest of 1978. Uh, I was privileged as an undergraduate, uh, my first year in the university, to have taken part in that historic protest. And I think the argument then and now is that the Nigerian state has no right to commercialize education. Education is so basic. And that is why it is enshrined in Section 18 of the Constitution that the Nigerian government will provide free education, affordable education, from primary to university level. However, as, as and when due, but the students are saying, we believe we have enough resources in the country. If the government can prioritize its programs to be able to fund education adequately. Now, uh, you are asking whether the body should be borne by the government. Of course, it is the responsibility of the government to invest in education so that our human resources can be developed. And that is the whole lesson. My, my, own, my own worry now is that whereas our country is training young people, right? They are trooping out of the country after graduation. And the government doesn't seem to be bothered. How can you spend money to train your own citizens only to allow them to serve other countries. If I were in the government, I would have said, okay, the British government, the United States government, you know, uh, Saudi Arabian government, our young people are coming to your country. You are recruiting nurses and teachers, pharmacists and others here. Can we sit down and, you know, so that you can also give back? Because it's very expensive to train a medical doctor in the United Kingdom or in the United States. Now, they have been trained here. Now, how can our country allow them to go out and serve other countries? So those are the issues the government will have to address. The other point is, in 1992, ASU fought and won a battle to tax all employers of labor, all companies are required to contribute 3% of their profit, you know, by way of education tax. But how many companies are paying the tax? Those are the issues to address. Only an infinitesimal number of companies, you know, pay the tax. So for me, these are the issues. Let us look at, and then for the universities, are there jobs? Are there jobs that can be executed by the respective faculties instead of giving out jobs to contractors? So the government will have to really think outside the box in funding education. But it is the responsibility of the government. And now that the economy has, is, is in crisis, how do you expect the children of the poor to access education? How? Okay, but I Mr. know many people in government, majority of the people in government would not have been able to acquire university education.